Greetings, pen pals. Let's see if you folks can guess what is in this case. Obviously, you know what's in the case because you've seen the title of the video, presumably. So this is a really nice pen case from uh, Galen Leather, which is a company in Turkey. And you order, you can order their leather products online. They have a whole bunch of different stuff, lots and lots of pen cases, notebook covers, etc. and so forth. So really, really nice uh, cases. Um, I ordered a couple of things from them, so this is the first one I'm actually showing in a video. Um, their service is outstanding, so you order it, they make them to order, and they ship it all the way from Turkey, and I think all in all it took maybe a week, 10 days, or something like that. It was very, very fast. Um, this particular case is simply called the Zippered 3-Slot Pen Case. This color and finish is called Crazy Horse Smoky. Um, and this is all natural sort of leather, so obviously you see it's going to show scratches and imperfections and stuff like that, but that's part of the charm of this. And as this stuff ages, it will just show its wear and tear, which is really, um, which is just to me quite nice. These are extraordinarily well made. It's got the Galen leather um, uh, uh, branding on here, quite subtly in fact, uh, but it's quite nice. And um, it's got a very, very well-made zipper with a zipper pull. And if you would open it up, it zips th uh, three th around the three sides. And you will then see the inside. On the inside, you have a holder. You can put a little notebook and a business card slot, etc. So the one side can have some paper materials. And then you have three elastic bands that can hold three writing instruments. So that's what we have in here. Um, and what we have here is the set uh, of Lamy, from Lamy 2000. It's the set of the fountain pen, the ballpoint, and the pencil. There actually is, I believe, a fourth component to the set. I believe they also make a rollerball, which I do not have. So, interesting story. I wasn't really in the market for another Lamy 2000. I actually have one that I've had for a few years. It's in medium. I like it quite a bit. I have talked about it on this channel. It's been featured at least once or twice on this channel. Really nice pen. We'll see this right a little later in the video. Um, but I saw this set at what I thought was a phenomenal price. Plus, it was in the fountain pen in the set was in extra fine. So for less than the price of a single Lamy 2000 fountain pen, I was able to pick up the full set. Um, obviously, this was pre-owned, but it's in relatively good condition. Um, so I got a fountain pen in extra fine, which is quite different than the medium, as you'll see here. I got a 0.7 millimeter uh, mechanical pencil, and I got the ballpoint. So I will cover all three of these because they there are interesting aspects of all of them. They are all in the Macrolon material, um, which um, which is sort of the, the hallmark of uh, the Lamy uh, 2000. So, anyway, really nice case from Galen Leather. Very, very happy with it, um, and um, I do uh, highly recommend it. I think the stitching is just, just super nice. Workmanship's great. Customer service is great. They are well priced, um, and um, uh, very, very happy with uh, with this case. And like I said, I have a couple other things uh, that I'll be reviewing in uh, subsequent videos as well. But let's uh, pull these guys out, and we can take a look at. Um, at this um, at this uh, Lamy 2000 set. So first and foremost, we'll take a look at the fountain pen because I think that's what everybody is interested in. So um, the Lamy 2000 uh, fountain pen. Uh, let's do a little bit of a size comparison. Well, here's the size comparison with the items in the set. So it's m the fountain pen's a bit bigger and certainly quite a bit girthier than the other items in the set. Here's the uh, Lamy 2000 fountain pen compared with a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, it's pretty much spot on with uh, with uh, with these guys. Um, now, um, in terms of weight, the fountain pen weighs 27 grams. The ballpoint weighs 15 grams. The pencil weighs. 18 grams. So the fountain pen is again quite a bit heavier than all the others. In case you're at all interested, all three of them with the case weigh 152 grams, for whatever that's worth. Um, so let's talk about the fountain pen. It's all macrolon, it, um, which is a composite material. Um, you 
pull it's a pull to uncap it has this little clutch ring with these little nubs here some people find these annoying i can barely feel them i don't really get what the complaint is with that at all it has a hooded i'd say semi hooded uh 14 uh, carat gold uh nib um at the back it has a uh, kind of ordinary looking feed and that hole is uh, where it fills it's a piston filling pen you may be wondering where the piston turning knob is it's very hard to see but it's right here and if we turn it just a little bit you'll see that gap appear I don't want to turn it too much because there is ink in here you'll see that gap appear and then when you cinch it down it pretty much disappears which is really pretty pretty cool in terms of overall consistency of design it's pretty consistent the clips are not identical they're slightly different shapes and sizes, but they're obviously styled pretty much identical. They're all spring-loaded clips, which are very, very nice. On the fountain pen and on the pencil, but not on the ballpoint, it does say Lamy on the side of the clip, but that's the only place you'll see branding here. The uh, top of the fountain pen finial is just a smooth top. It has this disc a uh, little highlight on the bottom. Um, the Macrolon kind of disappears and goes into this brushed steel, but this is sort of like one, you can't even feel that gap there. This is sort of just like one uh, one finish really, but it's two different materials. So it's done quite nicely. It's pretty much identical on the nose cone of the ballpoint and on the end of the pencil. They do the exact same effect. On all three places, which is which is quite um, which is quite uh, quite nice. Like I said, piston filling uh, fountain pen. Um, so that's that's the fountain pen. Um, let's talk about the pencil for just a second. This is a 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil. It does have a seven on the top of the uh, pusher to distinguish it. So you simply push it here, and it's a click to uh, extend and you hold it down and you can push it in. The pipe on the end of the pencil is quite short and is non-retractable, but it is a quite a short pipe. Um, and there you go with that. Um, it does have a eraser. If you were to pull that off, you see there's an eraser on the end and then you take out the eraser. It has a little cleaning needle and this is where the lead would go. In, uh, in here. Um, so that is the pencil. Again, serviceable pencil works well um, and works uh, quite nicely and matches the rest of the set. Not a lot to talk about with the pencil. Obviously how it writes is mostly going to be a function of which lead you put uh, in it. Um, now for the ballpoint. So we're talking about a push to click a ballpoint the action is smooth the force on the spring is actually quite nice it uh, it really has quite a nice little uh, spring action this is a single spring ballpoint though so um, just to um, highlight uh, the difference let me explain to you the difference between say a single spring and a double spring ballpoint so there's only one spring on this on this ballpoint and the way you can tell that is when you push to extend the ballpoint the there's a single spring which is effectively dri uh, driving the whole thing so it'll extend the pen but then the button as you can see is, is sort of like loose here there's no spring left in the button because there isn't a second spring up here to drive the button it's all just driven by the one spring which uh, drives the uh, the ball the refill this pen here is a road ring ticky. This has two springs. So you can see when you push it to extend it, it works just like anything else. But when the pen is extended, there's still spring action here because there's a second spring up here that drives the button. Whereas on the Lamy ballpoint, again, when you extend it, there is no spring action here. This is just kind of floppy. So Typically, this is something you see in less expensive ballpoints. So it's a tiny bit disappointing that the Lamy ballpoint, which is certainly not an expensive one, uh, an inexpensive one, uh, has that. Again, doesn't really affect the writing 
at all. It's just a little tiny design detail. So at the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. Let's talk about something that does matter, though, with the ballpoint, and that's the refill. So here's the, the nice thing that was included with this ballpoint from the seller. Lamy ballpoint refills are okay. They're not great. They're not like renowned for making phenomenal ballpoint refills, and they are proprietary to Lamy, and they are a little bit expensive. So I don't even have a Lamy ballpoint refill in here. What I have is this um, 3D printed adapter, which allows you to put um, D1 refills in the Lamy ballpoint. Now, what a, what's a D1 refill? It's a fairly standard refill that is mostly used in multi-pens, meaning multi-color pens. So they're fairly thin and they're fairly short. They don't hold a ton of ink, but they're quite serviceable. Um, the nice thing is you can get them in a multitude of colors and from a multitude of manufacturers and they're quite inexpensive so it gives you a lot of options. So this 3D printed adapter um, was really quite nice and a nice little throw in from the uh, seller that I got this uh, pen from. So the other, if I didn't have that I'd be, as you can see this says it's an M16 which is the Lamy um, a ballpoint refill to D1 adapter. So I'd be buying a Lamy M16 refill, which again, a little bit pricey, and they're on, they're only okay. They're not like the greatest refills uh, around. Um, and uh, so this uh, adapter allows you to uh, to use a D1 refill, which is just uh, great. So the refill I have in here, and we'll see that right in a bit, is a Monteverde uh, D1 ballpoint uh, refill. So I was able to use that Monteverde refill without any problem in this Lamy ballpoint pen, which again, I'm quite pleased with and uh, quite uh, is quite is quite nice. So that's uh, our Lamy 2000 set. But of course, pens were meant to write, and you're probably wondering how this writes, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, I'll show you writing with all three of these uh, just uh, for completeness sake. Um, so first off, we have the uh, the fountain pen, of course. So this is going to be a Lamy 2000 uh, fountain pen. And this has a um, 14 carat uh, nib. And this one is in extra fine. Extra fine doesn't look super fine here in this case because it is obviously a German slash Lamy extra fine. So it's not going to be like a um, an Asian extra fine, but it is an extra fine. And uh, this this writes smooth. This has great flow. It, um, I would say it's probably slightly above average wetness. Really, really nice. They say Lamy 2000 sometimes can be prone to have a sweet spot. I have two of them now, and I have not really seen that to be the case, meaning if you, if, if you don't hold it in an exact rotation, it has problems. I haven't seen that to be the case with either of mine, but um, obviously people have said that, so they're not making it up, so it obviously can happen, but I haven't seen that to be the case. And this ink is Lamy Blue Black. If we want to contrast that one with my older um, um, Lamy 2000 in medium, we can certainly do that. So this one here is a Lamy 2000 in medium. As you can see, it's laying down quite a bit more ink. Um, it's definitely wetter and um, um, broader and all that. So. This is a medium, and this this probably would be a broad in almost uh, most other uh, vendors' uh, worlds, but this is a medium. And uh, in case you're interested, this ink is Waterman Serenity Blue. Okay, so that is the um, fountain pen. Let's, uh, if you want to see how the ballpoint and the pencil work, we can certainly do that too. So obviously when you write with a ballpoint, it's really, the refill is really uh, what's going to drive the quality of the writing. So, but this is a Lamy 2000 uh, ballpoint, 
but the refill is a Monteverde D1 ballpoint refill. So this is a pretty good, it's an old school, you know, uh, oil based uh, ballpoint pen. This isn't a gel, it's not a roller ball. So we're talking old school ballpoint here, um, but um, writes well, no complaints uh, at all. But again, you really talking about the refill, not the pen, which is gonna largely drive the writing experience. Although I will say, this is quite comfortable to write with. It uh, works well, nice in the hand, good click action. I'm just very happy with it. Let's talk about the pencil now. So again, talk about a typical mechanical pencil. This is a bit, this is girthy. If you're looking for like, typically using like a very sort of technical mechanical pencil, they tend to be much narrower. So this is decently girthy for uh, most mechanical pencils, at least the ones I have. And again, typical thing, you click it, it extends the uh, lead from the pipe, etc. And there we go. So this is a, uh, a 0 0.7 millimeter um, uh, Lamy mechanical pencil. And I do not know what lead is in here. This is just the lead that was in it when I got it. I haven't even replaced it with any lead yet. So your guess is as good as mine. But that is that. Um, I think I don't have too much more to say. So I've uh, definitely been enjoying this uh, matching three piece set. Again, the nice, I had the, this case really goes well with the pens and it's got three slots and this three pens, this three writing instruments in the case. So that, uh, that always works out, uh, nicely. Um, speaking of nicely, one thing that would be really nice is if you folks could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would just be outstanding if you could please do all those things. And uh, I think that'll just about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly enjoyed making it. And until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.